Welcome back, guys. We are back again with the special episode. We're going through with part two of the Sword and Shield box. I'm pretty keen to get stuck straight into it. Um, part one, we got really lucky. We got really lucky first pack, especially. Um, if you want to see what we put on our first pack, the link will be in the description down below. So go check check that out. That was a really fun opening, a really good start to Sword and Shield. All right, guys, we've got 18 packs to go. I'll finish off this booster box. I'm not going to muck around too much. Um, I don't want to spend too much time fluffing on because I know there's a lot of people out there that have already seen a lot of Sword and Shield. It's not overly a big set. It's not a real substantial set. Like It doesn't have that same hype that Hidden Fates did. I don't think anything will have the hype that Hidden Fates did for a little while. But it'll be interesting to see what the next um, sort of set on the Sword and Shield era will be like. I'm very, very interested in seeing what they do with the next couple of sets, what Pokemon they start including in the sets as well. So I'm pretty keen to see what little adventure is going to be happening next. I um, really don't know what to expect, but I'm hoping for a couple of big things, and I hope they do some limited sets like they did with Hidden Fates as well. So I'm pretty excited to see what they do with that. All right, guys, let's get into our first pack. We're starting off with a Leaf Energy, a Rodon Bike, Drizzle, Fisher, Flipbug, Daltoy, Wulu, Joltik, Salandit, Reverse Hollow Bolto, with a Hollow Bolton. All right, guys, we're going to put the Bolton up there for now. Because we are going to start to respect the hollow pools a little bit more, especially now it's not like these full art, um, full art shinies or just these regular shiny pools that we're used to getting. Um, a couple of the pools are going to be a little bit more average than we're used to. We don't want to be too underwhelmed coming bouncing off um, hidden fates like Cosmic Eclipse really got underrated because of the whole hidden fates hype. Same as Unified Minds, I think that. That set just kind of got thrown under the radar, which is pretty sad. But anyway, we're here now. We've got a Lightning Energy, Ferrothorn, Reboot, Lumberry, Sobble, Pinchurchin, Glipug, Rhyhorn, Minchino, Reverse Hollow Gossiflor, with a regular rare Corviknight. Very good, very good indeed. So, I'm pretty keen. I've been opening a fair few packs off camera and outside of this booster pack. I haven't actually touched this booster box at all. I've been saving this for the videos. Um, it's crazy to see my daughter actually, on one of her first packs, she just opened, she's only four years old, and she actually pulled the golden quick ball. Um, so, she was pretty excited about that, and that was her pack. So, that's her little card that she gets to keep as well. Um, so it's been pretty fun, getting, been getting a couple of V-cards. Um, I don't think I've got a V-Max card just yet. So still chasing that V-Max, believe it or not. But yeah, got a couple of V-cards. Um, only for like trainer card I got was in the last episode. In that second pack that we pulled, we've got a regular red Cramorant there. Um, yes, um, it's just been... Seems like it's a little bit more work. To get pulls in this set than it was before. Um, oh, I just saw that one. One, two, three, four. I don't know. I'm very curious where Sword and Shield is going to go. I'm very, very curious indeed. So it's, it's going to be fun. We've got a Fire Energy, Mantone, Crushing Hammer, Switch, Golding, Yampa, Scarapai, Colobobus. A Wooloo, Reverse Hollow Quillfish. I don't even have a regular review. Cool. With the regular rare Cinder Ace. Another thing that's been making me take a little bit more time in my videos is I've actually started to organize my cards by keeping my little reverse rare pile. Uh, not reverse rare, sorry, reverse hollow pile going on. Uh, I missed it again. I still got the habit coming from Hidden Fates. My reverse holo pile, my regular air pile, keeping my holographic separate, just try and make it a little bit easier at the end of the videos to actually organize my cards. It's, it's an absolute nightmare. Um, Psychic Energy, Stunfisk, Pokemon Sunlady. I don't know why they included Stunfisk in this, this 
this series. I really don't see the use of him. But anyway, so the Cobra, Yampa, Krabby, Q Fence, Reverse, Hollow, Team Yell. Oh man, that is mad. We got a full art Sableye V card. That is awesome. That is awesome. I actually have my sleeves in my drawer. So let's go with that. All right, that'll be good. <laughs> Sleeve upside down. Um, yeah, wow, that's mad. Look at the colors in that. That's a really good card. That's awesome. That's a really, really nice card. I don't think Sableye has a V Max off the top of my head. Might have to look into that one a little bit further. We'll see what happens. We're just going to have to keep going and see what comes next. All right. Awesome, guys. First big pull of the day. Hopefully, not the last. I don't want it to be a total flop, but that's part of the journey because you really, really don't know what's going to happen next. You really don't know how long it's going to take for you to find that gold card, that full art card, those VMAX cards, whatever you're chasing, um, the glitter cards. It's just a very big journey indeed. And it seems like a lot more work than it needs to be for the size of the sets that we're dealing with right now. But at the same time, you don't want to be buying packs and straight off the bat having the set complete. You've got to be a little bit of a challenge. You've got to water energy, uh, energy search, Team Yell Grunt, Drizzle, Rhyhorn, Rosalia, Ferroseed, Krabby, Zigzagoon, Reverse Hollow Fairy Seed, followed by a Torco V card. Very, very cool. Uh, pretty much everything that is happening now is mostly new pulls. Um, I don't have the Torco V card, so I'm pretty stoked with that. I think the V cards I've been pulling off camera were. Uh, I got a Snorlax V. Um, I got a Snorlax V card. I got a Stone Jenner V card. Uh, my daughter got a Stone Drawn of the Fuller card. So she's got a lot of luck. She's a very lucky little girl. She's been getting all the things. It's, really, it's really funny to see, actually. So yeah, it's really excited about it as well. So it's a lot of fun that we got that little bond over Pokemon, which is really fun. Got a Darkness Energy, Seeking, Ordinary Rod, Beatty, Bidet. Whatever his name is, Score Bunny, Nicket, Chinchow, Diglett, Ferroseed, Reverse Hollow Yampa, followed by. Ah, not too bad. Holographic, Rillaboom. I do not have it, so I am happy. Good, 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 good. good. Goody, good, good. Now, oh, geez, we're actually flying through these packs so much quicker than usual. So this is our halfway mark. We've already done nine packs. Well, this is our ninth pack, sorry. So, that's good. Because I really don't want to make you guys bored. I don't want to be just blabbering on, talking to myself. And I just want to show you guys these cards and have a little bit of fun. Double. Quillfish, how funny is that? I just said I didn't have that card. Uh, Poke Kid. Meowth. Sizzlepeep. Wooloo. Love saying Wooloo. Ricky, Sobble, Reverse Hollow Snow with a Mushan. Alrighty then, that brings us to halfway into this box already. So while we're at halfway, if you're having fun, if you're enjoying what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel so that way you can stay up to date with all of our latest Pokemon content. I will be putting my social links down below as well, so that way you can keep up to date with the regular, because I, I'm going to try and be a little bit more regular on there, because I don't really have as much time as I'd like to be doing the videos. Um, work is just crazy at the moment. Can't afford to not work, sadly. It's life, it's adulting. 
So that's part of the fun. Um, so I'm just going to keep as regular as possible. I'm going to try and keep videos going up at least once a week. And if I can, I'll be trying to push that to twice a week as well. I've got a darkness energy. Lunoon. Road on bike. Drizzle. Krabby. Qfam. Galtoe. Salandit. Ponyta. Reverse Hollow Wooloo. Followed by a Turtonator. Turtonator. Alright guys, let's see what we've got in our next pack. I'm not going to say alright guys, because alright guys is a very common phrase in too many poker shooters. I think so we're going to have to try and be a little bit more original. Code card for everybody. As usual, I'm sure you guys are fully aware, code cards are for you guys. Um, I put them up in every video, every pack I do goes up in every video. I share that for you guys to be able to put that into your TCG. Um, if you are going through getting the codes, leave some for everybody. Everybody's got to have a fair share. I don't want everything to go to one person because I kind of want everyone to have a little bit of fun with this. Silver Cobra. And then that way we can all sort of benefit and all see what we get out of these codes cards. And guys, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you do get from the cards that you open on the TCG. And what cards you're getting from the actual cards in real life as well, if you're opening and going through the set too. Bit of Mancino, Volpix, Team Yell Grant, with a regular rare knockdown. I think I nutted out the best part of this box in the first video. But that full art V card was definitely a nice little surprise. I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, I'm not sure what the pull rates are in the booster boxes. I've seen a lot of hit and miss. That's been really hit and miss. I've seen people get absolute trash. And then I've seen people come out with 10, 12 plus pulls. So it's really interesting to see the variations. It's, it's inconsistent in the best way. Cool. So we've got a holographic Cooperaja. 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 However you want to say it. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's pretty frustrating the best way because, like I said before, you have to work to get this set done. It's not, it's not given to you. It's not going to be given to you. It's not a huge set. It's not a small set either. I think it's maxing out at 207 cards in the sets, including secret rares. Sorry, I covered the numbers at the end of that one. That's why I showed it twice. I think I did five. No, I did four. Got a fighting energy. A quillfish again. Fair enough. Energy Switch, Dollar, Hoot Hoot, Score Bunny, Pikachu, Sinistee, Wooloo, Reverse Hollow, Cinderace. So that's a Reverse Rare, followed by a Drapion. Mate, where are the pools? All right, what have we got left? So this is the fifth last. Is that a way to say things? Fifth last of this. That's what we're going to stick to. Because I sound like an idiot. But I don't know how else you would say that. Two, three, four. Alright, Fire Energy. I think we're going to go on in this one. Drizzle. Stunfisk. Pokemon Center Lady. Grookey. Hashtag Grookey Game. Sobble. Rhyhorn. Roselia. Ferrisseed. Reverse Hollow Cremorant followed by, yeah, I was right, we got something, a Reggie Rock V card. I honestly, I don't know why this card's in the set. I really don't. Uh, it, it does not make sense to be in the set. It is not relevant to the set. It is not relevant to the game. It's, it, it blows my mind. Uh, that one, that one really, do, I don't understand why that card's in that set. Cool to get a pull. I'm happy, don't get me wrong, but I don't understand where the logic comes from to say which cards are going to be included. I know they're not going to completely deny the older cards from the previous series, but still, just a really random card to put in the set. Uh, Psychic Energy, Thwacky, Powpad, Citrus Berry, Noir, Gossifleur, Goldeen, Diglett, Scarify, Reverse, Hollow, Krabby, 
followed by a regular rare poltergeist. So the story goes on. Three packs to go. Let's see what happens next. All right. As long as I don't get totally dud packs, I'm pretty happy with today. I'm not going to lie. It's actually some decent pulls. Got three hollows and three um, V cards. One of the V cards being a, oh no. Being a V full. <laughs> so it's not too bad. Uh, Metal Energy. Poke Kid. Energy Search. Team Your Grant. Maractus. Pikachu. Glaring Meowth. Sizzler Pete. Wooloo. Reverse Hollow Poke Gear. Followed by a regular rare Lapras. Two packs to go. We're going to get a pull in each pack. I'm going to call it. I think second to last pack. This pack is going to be better than the last pack. But we'll see. Oh my gosh. That's just. Am I the only one that's having problems with opening Sword and Shield pack? They are way, way too tightly packed. I don't understand if it's just me or not. Please let me know if I'm just absolutely being crazy. I, I, I have not had trouble like I've had with Sword and Shield packs in terms of opening the actual packs. Uh, Vitality Band, Wanta, Clobopus, Ghastly, Rooker D, Sizzlepeed, Snow, Reverse Holly Hitmonlee, followed by a Snorlax, B Max. I called that this pack was going to have a good pull in it, and I was right. Let's look at it outside of the sleeve for now. Wow. The colors are awesome. The textures are just unreal. That's amazing. Cool. So that's the first VMAX card I've pulled. And what a, what a card to pull. That's really cool. I'm really happy with that. I do have the Snorlax V and I do have the Snorlax regular air, so I'm pretty pumped about that. I've got all three of them now. Uh, no, because I need Snorlax V full art too. So almost there with the Snorlax set. But um, yeah, what a pull. What a pull. All right, last pack. We're going to see if we can pull some last pack magic. Code's upside down. It's all right. You will figure it out. All right. Let's go with the last pack magic with the darkness energy, Aurora energy. I really like these cards. I don't know why. I just think it looks awesome with the bigger artwork on the top. Uh, double, Quillfish. <laughs> I've opened so many packs and I haven't got him in today. I've got him like every other pack. Chinchow, Crow Gun, Meowth, Score Bunny, Sinistee, Reverse Hollow Pornyard. And with the last pack, you will see it before me. Orbital. <laughs> so that, that could have been really mad. That could have been really epic, actually. I think that's going to be something we're going to start doing. Last packs from now on. You guys will see it before I do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go for a quick recap, have a quick look at what we've got. Alright guys, so today was a bit of fun. We opened 18 packs of the Sword and Shield set. Um, that's 18 packs out of a booster box that we started in our last episode. If you haven't checked that out, link is down below. Go check that out. We've got some really good pulls in that so on. So here are the pulls for today. Uh, we got a Holographic Voltant, the Holo Copperaja, Hop, Hoppo, uh, the Holographic Rillaboom, the card that I don't understand why it belongs to this set is the Regirock V card. We got the Torkoal V card. I could also say that about this card, but um, he's actually in the game, so it kind of makes more sense. The Sableye V Full Art, which the colors are just awesome. I love the tie-dye background. I really, actually really like that card. With the pull of the day, always the last card that I show you guys is that Snorlax V Max, um, pretty stoked about that. I'm, I'm pretty stoked. That's a pretty good pull. I'm really happy to get a V Max card. All right, guys. So next episode, we're going to be going backwards a little bit. We're going to be going back to finish the Cosmic Eclipse booster box that I 
started and never finished because it's been sitting on my desk just waiting for me to get through everything that's been released since I started that set. I do have some more Hidden Fates. I will be doing some more Hidden Fates. I've got eight tins left off the top of my head. Um, I might call it after that with the Hidden Fates set, depending if we get that Charizard or not. But we'll see what happens. It's only time will tell and we'll find out when the next videos come up from the Hidden Fates set. Alright guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by and watching the videos. Like I said, if you are enjoying yourselves and you feel like being notified when the next videos go up, hit that subscribe button and have the notific notification bell switched on. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. Bika, bika.